once told me he carries his family legacy as a badge of honor that fuels his confidence that cannot be broken. If you're looking for pure destruction, Braun Strowman is a man who can give it to you. I'll tell you what, I'd be trembling like a leaf if I was standing across the ring with Braun Strowman right now. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Seth. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion of Money in the Bank ladder match winner. Debuted it as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. I can't wait to see what the big dog, Roman Reigns, has in store tonight. Northern Lights! Clearly on a mission here. Oh, Seth got him there. Big move by the Architect. Ooh, what an amazing... That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Delivering the shin breaker. Offense like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. Braun Strowman is a force within the ring. Look at Roman Reigns here. Oh, I think this man means business. Look out. Seth Rollins in some trouble here, but it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. The dangers of this triple threat match appear to have escalated quickly on him. And this has all the makings of getting out of hand fast. He better be careful. He never would have caught a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. You know, guys, it's not uncommon for superstars to practice a little hyperbole when it comes to nicknames. For example, King Kong Bundy isn't really a walking condominium.
But when it comes to Braun Strowman, there is no more fitting moniker than the monster among men. So it's kind of like when they call you JR Jr., right? I've never heard that one. Braun Strowman truly is a monster among men, as Byron pointed out. Even on the rare occasion he's outsized, I'd say it's Strowman's physical ferocity that makes him truly unstoppable. I couldn't agree more, Cole. Just go back and look at what Strowman was able to do against the taller Big Show. I mean, at one point, Strowman threw Show right through a steel cage. I guess, uh... A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also cost you. We saw that at TLC 2016 when AJ Styles defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Dean Ambrose. Ambrose said that his temper was his game plan, but if anyone would be at home in a TLC match, it's the Lunatic Fringe. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. The triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example of the incredible competition between the female superstars of WWE. Charlotte was physically dominant in fighting off the challenges of Bayley and Sasha Banks. At one point, the Queen even landed a moonsault on both their opponents at the same time. But the boss and Bayley put it all on the line and kept fighting. There were several near pinfalls during this battle, but in the end, as it should be, the Queen exhibited her genetic superiority by fighting off both her challengers. After drilling Bailey with a boot to the face, the Queen pinned the hugger and retained her Raw Women's Championship. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after Seth Rollins coming in! Somebody wound it. Daughter Super Kick! Here's his chance. Seth Rollins is rolling now. Eventually, John Cena and Seth Rollins changed the landscape of the match by doing the one thing they never considered, and that was working together. The Beast survived three consecutive AAs from John Cena and a curb stop from Seth Rollins. Cena and Rollins then went toe-to-toe -to -toe as one tried to take the other out of the match. All three superstars suffered an incredible beating, which included Brock Lesnar being treated by two doctors at ringside. After surviving the barrage of offense from Seth Rollins, the Beast returned to his feet and destroyed the Architect with a devastating F5 to retain his championship. Here comes Rollins. That hit connects from Roman Reigns. Oh, that is going to leave a mark. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Inside the ring now. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. It makes sense for Seth Rollins to hold a tag team title with one of his Shield brothers, but to hold it with the overachieving Jason Jordan was the result of a series of unfortunate events. Here comes Reigns. Oh, I think this man means business. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Those unfortunate events you mentioned, Corey, included a long-term injury to Rollins' tag team partner, Dean Ambrose. Jason Jordan then inserted himself into the Seth Rollins rivalry with the bar, ultimately winning the tag titles on Christmas night. Yeah, Raw General Manager Kurt Angle must have, and the triple threat is over. This place is going nuts! That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. From the opening bell, this match was one for the ages. I'm almost speechless. Almost. Here is your winner, Strowman. A very impressive victory. That's the kind of action you expect here.